architecture of any country is defined to an enormous degree by its history and heritage and forms a major part of the character and identity of a destination exploring the architecture of the country reveals much about it and remains a very important part of tourism brazil was colonized by portuguese explorers centuries ago and this culture has continued to influence the look and feel of the country hence the architecture of brazil is influenced by europe especially portugal it was the first wave of architecture to go to brazil these colonial style buildings give the country a really charming element in the 18th century during the time of the empire brazil followed european trends and adopted neo classical baroque and gothic revival architecture in the 20th century especially in brasilia brazil experimented the with modernist architecture this style became more popular around the end of world war 2 when function was more important than form this approach is still the overriding architectural style of brazil this style is characterized by minimalism and the absence of excess frill and de- decoration it is simple with the clean lines and a functional form oscar niemeyer remains one of the world's best known modernist architects and certainly left a very clear imprint on the architecture of brazil now let's talk about the brazilian architecture in the 16th century the colonial architecture of brazil dates to the early 16th century when brazil was first explored conquered and settled by the portuguese who created an architecture familiar to them in europe they built sacred and secular buildings including houses and forts in brazilian cities and the countryside they founded recife sao paulo rio de janeiro and salvador in the colonial period these cities saw the best ex- expression of brazilian architecture buildings of this period were distinct because they followed similar rules such as symmetry box like structure alcoves and recessed windows constructed from stone and mortar covered with plaster the best examples are in the city of salvador with this with its multicolored colonial buildings that outline the streets and depict salvador's history salvador was founded in 1500s and became brazil's first capital until 1763 and home to spectacular colonial and baroque styles after defeating the dutch in the 17th century portuguese settlers built and refurbished several forts along the bay including sao marcelo fort the port stands perfectly round on a small reef bank about 1000 feet of the coast a brazilian writer amado explained it as the belly bottom of bahi another example of great architecture in salvador is the la sede elevator which also became the most well known piece of architecture in salvador built around 1872 the structure linked both upper and lower cities with four elevators with air conditioning offering stunning views of the bay furthermore the city shelters numerous buildings with meaningful cultural and historical significance talking about the 18th century architecture between the 18th and 19th century brazilian architecture is a period that saw the introduction of more european styles to brazil such as neo classical and baroque architecture this was usually mixed with brazilian influences from their own heritage which pro- produced a unique form of brazilian architecture the best examples of baroque architecture in brazil are founded in the city of ouro preto where buildings start to take more ornate forms and rounded corners certain structures also depict painting which are incorporated into the walls the best preserved residence is the casa dos contos built in 1780 a beige and white three story building with a stone watering trough for horses in the backyard as well as dark flagstone cubicles where slaves lived today the structure is served as the office of the city's postal authorities neoclassicism refers to ancient rome and greek by adopting their large multi-story columns and grand triangular roofs the liberal use of white soapstone limestone or marble are also indicators of neoclassical buildings great examples lay in the city of manus specifically the theatro amazonas 
by the turn of the 20th century the amazonian region of brazil began to prosper the increasing amount of money from exports from its rubber plantations region flourished particularly the capital city of manaus brazilian architecture in 20th century throughout the modern age brazil began to define itself as a country in its architecture this was done so with the help of brazil's most famous architect and designer oscar niemeyer he designed the edificio copan in sao paulo one of the brazil's biggest cities and the entire city of brasilia his buildings were characterized by the use of concrete and free flowing curves as a young man nimir worked for his father as a typographer before entering the escola nacional de belas artes after his graduation nimir went off to work for lucio costa who was an architect from the modernist school in 1941 nimir launched his solo career by designing multiple buildings called the pampulhak architectural complex in the city of belo horizonte This was when Nimeir began developing some of his well-known design trademarks such as the heavy uses of solid and an inclination towards curves. Nimeir stated, "I consciously ignored the highly praised right angle and the rational architecture of T squares and triangles in order to heart- wholeheartedly enter the world of curves and new shapes." made possible by the introduction of concrete into the building process one of his greatest successes was the palacio da alvorada in brasilia a two story glass and concrete structure with curved supports form the facade on all four walls these walls are stretched between the supports are translucent walls of tinted glass the nave is interred by an impressive subterranean passages rather than a conventional doorway thus the presidential palace along with many other of oscar's design drew attention to the architecture of brazil and created a modern style for brazil as well so that's all about brazilian architecture thank you so much